Hello, I am Wonder001, and this is my review of Zag Invisible Shield Glass Plus Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the Pixel 2. Now, if you see my review over there of the Spigen Slim Armor case, you will know that it did not come with a screen protector of any kind. So I went out looking for a screen protector. Now you might ask yourself, why do a review of a screen protector? Well, when I was looking for protectors for the screen, uh, I was debating between tempered glass and just the regular kind of plasticky screen protectors that you normally get with a cell phone case. A lot of people were telling me that tempered glass was the way to go. I did some research into it and I found out that there were a couple of factors to consider with tempered glass. And uh, you know, so I figured I would show you what I found out and why I ended up going with the InvisiShield here. Now I will say that if you're still watching this, probably because you're interested in this particular tempered glass thing, I'm gonna start off with the price. So if the price scares you away, tempered glass might not be what you're looking for. Uh, in the case of this screen protector, it is $40. Do I think it's worth that? Well, I'm gonna walk you through the uh, learning process that I went through and uh, tell you at the end if I think it's worth that $40. So to start off with, it's a little hard to do a screen protector review because, well, you gotta put it on the phone first. So the screen protector's already on this phone. So I'm gonna talk about the box for a second because this is what I'm gonna have to use. So it's shiny, it's annoying, it's gonna be really hard to film. Uh, it's supposed to add three times shadow resistance. Uh, I will not be smashing my phone with a hammer or scratching it with keys. Uh, you can go to their website to see them do that. Uh, and it's supposed to have reinforced edges. I'll explain a little bit about that later. I'm gonna flip this over very quickly so that you can go through the back. It is supposed to be industry leading screen protection, uh, precision touch sensitivity HD clarity. Uh, so what that means is you don't lose any color and uh, where you touch is where you touch. Now I will say the, the glass screen protector the tempered glass over the normal plasticky ones that you get. I will say it's very smooth scrolling. I do appreciate that greatly, uh, as well as their precision HD clarity. Um, one of the things that I read was with tempered glass screen protectors, you can get kind of a rainbowing effect, meaning that if you move the phone slightly, you would see a rainbow of colors. I will say there is a little rainbowing, but only when you have a white screen on and you're looking at the phone like this, or like this. So unless you're gonna be holding it at some weird extreme angles, you are not going to see any of that rainbowing. So keep that in mind, no problem. Smudge proof, uh, it smudges like glass would, but not as badly as those plastic screen protectors. Once a smudge got on the screen protector, you really had to rub, 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 rub to get the smudge out. I just took a cloth before filming this and went wipe, wipe, and all the smudges that were on this gone. So smudge proof? Yeah, I'll say it is. An easy bubble free application. Now this, this is the bane of my existence, of my existence with screens for smartphones, putting them on. You can never get a bubble free application. Although this one came near close to perfect. So let me show you what it looked like putting this on. All right, so this is what comes in the InvisiShield Glass Plus from Zag. Um, we're just gonna open this up. Okay, we get cleaning cloth. Lifetime replacement. Get a wipe to wipe down the screen. Dust removal sticker. and then the actual tempered glass piece here. Now, it is notched on both sides, so it does, it is going to sit on top of the camera lens. So I'm gonna take some before and after pictures using this. All right, so we're gonna give this a good cleaning and a wiping and stickering to get all of the possible stuff off of here. It's 
says it's a wet wipe, but it smells like alcohol and I don't really see any wet, but uh, that's okay. Kind of looking around there, actually, on this possible spot right there. Now, it is tricky doing this around the camera. Hopefully, it will be in focus for you because I want you to be able to see this, but I'm also super OCD about dust and dirt on my screens. So, uh, my OCD takes precedent over your uh, seeing how well this works. All right, so that's gonna yank off any possible dust that's left and we're gonna jump right into taking this. Oop, oop, I think I see something. Yep, there's a little bit of something. Yeah, see, unless you're like in a hermetically sealed chamber Dust is going to get on here, so the idea is to work super quickly. All right, got that as clean as we're going to get it and move this out of the way. What you're going to do now is you're going to take this part off and then hold it using the provided tabs. So we take that off and then we grab the tabs and then we line it up as best we can. And I'm actually going to have to stand up for this one. Okay. All right. And then you're just supposed to press down. And it fills itself in. All right. So let's see how well we can do that because we're supposed to use this cloth here to smooth out any possible uh, scuffs. All right, so I'll bring this up into focus, kind of work that. Now that right there, I'm hoping is not actually an air bubble and it's just something on the top layer, but there's one down there too. If that happens to be an air bubble, at least it's not on the screen itself. So I'm actually pretty happy with the way that uh, this adhered. Normally, this is a bit more of a pain to do. Uh, you will notice that there is a gap on either side because this is not full frontal screen covering. Uh, so some of you might not like that but uh, we're just gonna try and rub that down as best we can before we take the top layer off. Okay. We're gonna call that uh, as good as it's gonna get. All right, so last step is to take and get stickered, but uh, take and peel the top layer off. So there's something there, but uh, cannot tell yet if that is under, under or on top. I'll probably just buff it out. Let me get back to you. All right, so there are two almost imperceivable oil spots right there, but not terrible. Now the only thing that uh, I warned you about is it's not perfectly centered. You're not going to get a hundred percent screen coverage and I will show you later that this edge over here I have screen that's not protected and on this side I have screen that's protected. Uh, so this side kind of lost out by a little bit. So the smudge that I was referring to up there in the corner no longer there. So that was kind of cool. Uh, the one thing I did notice though, this screen protector does not cover the entire screen. Now, I didn't expect it to cover the entire front because most don't, but right there, you can't see it because I don't have the phone on yet, but I will show you. There is like that much of the screen 
that is not covered. And I, I read on the website some of the reviews that were saying, oh, it doesn't cover the, uh, the screen, blah, blah. I'm like, it can't be that bad. It isn't that bad, but it is noticeable. And I don't know why InvisiShield or Zag here couldn't just extend it this much because as you can see, this is in a case. The Pixel 2 has small bezels on the side. That much. I mean, we're talking almost imperceivable, a little bit more, and it would be perfect. Uh, you did notice there that uh, the screen protector does pick up dust quite a bit along the edges. And that is a little bit of a nuisance, but not terrible. Uh, it did do completely bubble-free application, except you will notice there, there, there's kind of hard to see at this angle, and there, there's little bits of a bubble that persist. But around the far edges, not on my screen, I'm going to call that a win because there's zero bubbles there. And that's the first time I've ever been able to do that. So application, super great. Resistance, I like it. I haven't had any problems. I have dropped the phone once already. Uh, it, did lane, it did land on the screen and you'll notice there are no scratches there. So in that case, it's pretty good. Let me turn the Pixel 2 on and show you right there. Really, really easy to see on a white screen how much isn't actually covered. And that annoys me. Oh, well. Uh, there's a little bit of your rainbowing if you hold it all the way to the sides. So there is a little cut out there. It's, I like it. It doesn't annoy me now, but when I first put it on and first noticed it, oh, you better believe it annoyed me. But here's the thing to consider. And when I, and I said, I researched tempered glass screens. The one that's on the official Google store, I believe, is one of the ones that I was researching where not all tempered glass screens adhere all the way through. Some of them just adhere along the edges and there's like a little air gap that you kind of touch in the middle, kind of like a OtterBox Defender case. I did not want that. Uh, I think the one in the official Google store is like that. This one doesn't. It adheres to the entire screen and you, you lose no touch sensitivity. So that's why I ended up going with this. Now the question is, with the downfalls that I said, is it worth $40? That's hard to say. It depends on how much $40 is to you. Personally, I would have less reservations if it fully covered the screen for $40. I could live with that. As this product stands now, 35 would probably be the most I spend for it, maybe 30, because of that uh, part there that's just, it's not covering the whole screen. So that annoys me, but everything else, the application, the protection, the clarity, and the swiping, the swiping, oh, oh my gosh, if you've never had a tempered glass screen protector and you've only used the plastics, I don't think I'll ever be able to go back to the plastic after this. So if that was the case, $30, $35, if it, if it fully covered the screen, I could probably spend $40. So it's up to you. I mean, it has the cutouts there for the speakers. You'll notice that it does cover the camera up front. I was, I was a little concerned about that. So I took some before and after pictures and videos, which I will insert here. So this is testing the front facing camera. Uh, before I put the uh, screen protector on. All right, this is video test with screen protector on. Let's see how that looks. Behold the Christmas mess and horrible wallpaper that really, really, really needs to go. Okay. And there we go, the hot mess again, but with the screen protector on this time. See if there's any notable differences there. So you can see it's, it, 
I thought that they would do a cutout for the camera, but you, as you saw, it didn't do anything. It's, it, the clarity is fine. So at $40, would I buy it again? Probably, I, I would, I would, I'll be honest. Even with my reservations, I would buy this again. I would buy this again in a heartbeat at $40 if it covered the entire screen. Will it work for you? Only, only you can tell for yourself if that screen that I showed you will annoy you. For me, I, I, for the protection I get, I will live with a little bit of screen that's not covered. If you center it a little differently, you might have a little less on both sides. I kind of use that edge to center. It is what it is. Um, I'm just, I'm not trying to tell you whether you should buy this or not. I'm giving you information so you can make that determination for yourself. I have been Wanderer 001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.